Good afternoon, everyone. This is Chris with Office Gemini. Thank you for uh, joining us this afternoon. We're going to wait just a couple of minutes uh, for those that might be running a couple minutes late uh, to get started. So we will be starting here in the next few minutes. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'd like to welcome everyone to our Friday webinar. Uh, my name is Chris. I'm a sales engineer and account rep here at Office Gemini. Uh, today we are going to cover automatic forms processing uh, and AP automation with DocMe Capture. Uh, before we get started, I want to explain. Uh, how the webinar is going to work. Uh, because of the number of people attending today, uh, I have everyone muted. If you have a question or a comment, please use the chat option or raise your hand. Uh, today, I have Scott on the line. He's going to be answering questions as I go through the presentation. Um, so first, let's go ahead and get started. I'd like to go over the agenda for today. Um, what we're going to cover the first the introduction um, we've kind of already done that already and next we're going to look at the problem with today's uh, form processing specifically focused um, on the AP uh, process the causes uh, more importantly what is the solution uh, today I'm going to show you that I'm going to show you one way uh, DocMe Capture paired with DocMe DMS can automate an AP process. Uh, what I'm going to do is first I'll give you an overview of what you're going to see in the demo. Uh, we'll talk about smart zone recognition, uh, magic indexing, we're going to talk about the workflow process inside of DocMe DMS, uh, and then we're actually going to go into DocMe uh, and see how easy it is to quickly take a group of invoices through the entire AP process. So we'll take that, um, that paper um, from the moment it's received and we'll extract the data from it um, we'll store it we will move it through the ap approval process and then pay it and file it uh, and put it in its final storing place um, at the end of the presentation we'll answer questions uh, and again scott he will also be chatting uh, online during the presentation so if you have any questions uh, please just uh, use chat so Let's look at the problem, and more importantly, let's look at the solution. So, um, first, let's look at accounts payable today. Uh, it is not a pretty picture. The problem is we have manual-based AP processes that have very high operational costs. You know, why? Because it costs money to process an, in, an invoice. Uh, and using people, using paper, uh, that equates to higher transaction costs. It basically it takes longer to pay an invoice. And then there are human errors. The more people who touch an invoice, the greater the chance someone is going to make a mistake. Uh, manual ap approval processes, they take longer. You know, take an invoice, it's shuffled from the AP department to a department manager and then maybe to a director for approval. This can take weeks, it can even take longer. Invoices can also be lost or misplaced. 
which further adds time, uh, requires more company resources to correct. A lot of times there are late payment penalties or we're not taking advantage of early payment discounts. Uh, and it is true that there are software applications out right now to help automate this process. However, to date, the technology out there, it requires high up upfront software and setup costs. Um, for the capture and data extraction, for instance, customers can be charged for each page scanned and also for each page of an invoice that needs data extracted. Or maybe they're charged by the size of the workstation that they use or the size of the scanner that they use. Also, um, these applications, the setup and the training uh, of our employees can cost thousands or more and, and take you know months to, to complete. And at the end of the day, the, the data that's extracted is still not accurate. That's what we're finding. So what this means is that the data, it still needs to be verified. And, and this requires time-consuming manual QC processes to correct these errors. I mean, ouch, at the end of the day, you know, we have no visibility as to what's going on, you know, where in the approval process is everything, who has what. You know, it feels like these invoices just go into a black hole. We don't have any control. Now, the good news is there is a solution. Um, there is a better way, uh, and that way is AP automation using DocMe. Um, with DocMe Capture, you know, our customers pay one price for unlimited scans, unlimited OCRing of their documents using Abby's industry-leading OCR engine. It also does not matter the size of the scanner or the size of the workstation that our customers use. Um, auto extracting and processing invoices can be done for pennies, not dollars. So we can reduce transaction costs significantly, uh, eliminate the paper, reduce human error. Approval automation, it, what it does is it's going to reduce turnaround times from weeks to, to days, even hours. Uh, and this means goodbye to late payment penalties. We can now take advantage of early payment discounts. And now we also have instant visibility and can follow each transaction through the process with an audit trail in the event that we need to come back later to, to look at something. So with DocMe, operational costs are less. Uh, it is a better way. So, so how do we do it? What I'm going to do next is I'm going to give you an overview of <clears throat> the specific technologies that we use. So first, I want to start with automatic zone recognition. So what we do is we use automatic zone recognition to automatically pull information off of a document. So we can take uh, an invoice, uh, look in a specific zone, or even look at an entire page uh, using magic indexing for specific information. We have recognition tools like text OCR, ICR, OMR. Um, we can read barcodes and QR codes. And the example that we're going to look at, well, DocMe is going to automatically uh, index some invoices. Uh, this is actually what's going to be used in the demo. We're going to take some invoices. We're going to pull the vendor name, the invoice number, invoice amount, uh, the date, and auto-populate the index fields. And these are the index fields that are going to be used when the document's stored. And our workflow is going to be based off of these values. So, and, and also, everything that I'm going to show you can be set up to be automated. So no human um, intervention or action is involved. Once this is set up, it truly, it runs by itself. Um, and I'm going to take you through the process kind of step by step so that uh, everyone can see how it works. But imagine this, invoices come in and we just take them and we put them into a folder on our desktop. And from there, that's the next time we see them, 
they're part of a workflow. So they're, they're being automatically imported, they're being automatically indexed, they're being automatically filed, they're being automatically sent through the approval process and, and being paid a lot of times in the same day. And, and that's something that's not possible with a lot of today's processes. With DocMe, uh, that is possible. So another technology that we use is called magic indexing. And because when we're talking about in, uh, invoices, a lot of times we're talking about unstructured data. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, if I have a set of invoices from 10 different vendors, they are all gonna look different. Um, they're all gonna have the same information on them, but it's gonna be in different, uh, in different places on each invoice. Uh, take something as simple as the vendor name. If you look at the slide that I have up, um, what we do is we make a big zone. We, I know that the vendor name is going to be at the top third of that page somewhere. If you look at the red box, that's what we're looking for when we're looking for the vendor name. So it could be on the left. It could be on the right. It could be in the middle. It could be um, a logo. Uh, with DocMe, it does not matter. With magic indexing, we can automatically... Um, extract that data. And the way magic indexing works is we actually will take um, the invoices and run them through um, a number of different recognition engines that we have here. Um, and then on top of all of that, we have a QC process built in. So when it's back to the customer, everything is already indexed correctly and everything is already verified. That's how we're able to do this automatically. That's how we're able to do this and our customers do not have to do any type of manual uh, QC or verification on their end. It really is done automatic. Uh, so let's go and let's look at DocMe um, and we'll see it in action and, and, uh, and give you guys an idea of exactly what I'm what I'm talking about here. Let's see, I'm going to pull up my Screen. Give me one moment. Okay, so what everyone is looking at, what you should see is my my VM. So uh, this is where I have DocMe, and I'm going to show you how we can take a group of invoices and we can send them through uh, an approval process. And before I do that, I'm going to show you uh, just kind of a, a picture here or a, a visual representation of what we're going to see. And this is of the workflow that's done inside of DocMe DMS. So the invoices will be taken in via DocMe Capture um, using zone recognition or using magic indexing. The invoices, the data will be extracted. So we're going to be pulling off like the vendor name, the uh, invoice date, the amount, um, the invoice number, you know, any any information that's pertinent to an invoice, we can extract from it using DocMe Capture. And then we're gonna take that image um, and we're gonna take the metadata fields that we have extracted and automatically uh, import that into DocMe DMS um, where the invoices will ultimately be stored and where the workflow um, happens. This is the actual workflow that we're gonna look at. So mind you, our invoices can come in any way. They can come in via email. They can come in via mail. They can come in, um, you know, via, um, they can be emailed to us. They can come in any way that they come in. We can take those and we can digitize them, extract the data, and put them into this workflow automatically. And so what's going to happen, um, each one of these blue boxes represents a, a workflow, a different workflow. And, and underneath each blue box, is the business rules that um, that pertain to that specific workflow. And I blew up the first one at the top so that we could kind of talk about it and I'll kind of walk you through it. It'll give you a good idea of how everything is gonna work. So once we have taken those images and extracted the, the metadata, um, they've automatically moved over to DocMe DMS. Uh, and they're going to go into a folder called workflow or called invoices for approval uh, and the workflow associated with that. So uh, the person responsible for that workflow is going to get an email saying there are some items that need your attention. They will log into DocMe, 
uh, and they will see the invoices that they need to uh, take some action upon. In this case, what they're going to do is they're going to verify that invoice. Um, if it hasn't been indexed, they're going to um, index it or and and then they're going to more importantly they're going to assign a cost center because the cost center is what we're going to use to route that invoice on. Um, so here we're going to have some different cost centers. We have them for sales, R R and D, HR, IT. Um, depending on the cost center, the invoice is going to be routed to that specific department manager. Um, and there it's going to enter the workflow for that specific department. And inside of these blue boxes, um, the four underneath are approval matrices. Um, and the approval matrix is based on the amount of the invoice. So if the invoice is under $100, it will only need the manager approval. If it is from um, $100 to $1,000, it's going to need the manager approval. But after that, it's going to move on to the director. The director is going to have to... Uh, approve it as well. And then if it's over a thousand dollars, it's going to have to uh, also need a vice president approval as well. Um, now, mind you, this is what I set up uh, in my system. This is completely customizable and, and it can be customized to um, the processes of the various company. This is a, um, a very simple example. Uh, and after it's gone through that approval, it's going to go to Another workflow called invoices approved for payment. This is where the invoice is going to be uh, paid, and we're going to note, you know, how did we pay it, um, what date did we pay it on, and then from there it'll be routed to where um, where it's stored. And at any time we'll be able to look into the system and find out, okay, look, it's the end of the month. Where are my open invoices? Um, we can run a report and find that information out. Um, we can go to a specific month and find out, okay, what invoices do we pay this month? Um, very, very easy now uh, using DocMe. So let's go in and, um, and let me show you what I'm talking about. So first I'm going to open up DocMe Capture. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to run – um, a set of invoices using zone recognition. Um, I'm also going to show you a set that I use that I used magic indexing for. Um, magic indexing um, works slightly different than zone recognition because um, with magic indexing, we use that that is used for unstructured data. So um, when a customer uses magic indexing, the invoices are sent to our server, we run them through um, a bunch of different recognition engines that we have. And then on top of that, we have a layer of QC and it's sent back. It's not necessarily automatic. I ran a couple of tests this morning and they're coming back in you know an hour, hour and a half. Um, I typically tell customers it's gonna take about three hours, um, but usually it's very, very fast. Um, so let me go in and uh, I'm gonna show you the batch directory. We're gonna go ahead and run a batch. Um, on we're going to run a batch of um, of invoices. So I'm going to go and I'm going to log in as the ad administrator um, so that I can see everything. I was using a user a minute ago. Let's see. So as the admin, I have full uh, rights, and I can actually go in and I can look at um, at the specific. I can look at the specific um, batch profiles that I need to see. So here, the batch profiles where we set the rules up where that we use to process a group of invoices. Um, I'm going to quickly show you the difference. So I, I set up two for this um, for this webinar. The first one using zone recognition. The second one using magic indexing. So if I go here, um, let's go ahead and edit it. I just want to show you the different types of recognition. We're pulling these data fields. Magic indexing, what we do is we can make a very, very large, we can make very large zones. Uh, and the reason that we do that uh, is because we're, we're dealing with unstructured data. So if you look here, you can see for vendor name, I made it the whole top of the page. Um, and so anytime we're using a set of invoices that are not similar, this is what we're gonna use. Uh, let me close out of that. And I'll go to the other 
profile that I used, and this is using zone recognition. So this is when we're using data that's more structured. Um, and, and what we can do is we can give DocMe capture uh, markers to look at because I know that you know I'm running a set of invoices or documents they all are similar so I can tell it okay hey look look in this zone um, look for you know the date you know th these different markers and then give me the date and so it's very very good at doing that um, so those are the two ways that we're going to pull uh, the data off of um, off of the document set and this happens very very fast I'm going to go in and just run one um, you know, while we're here, just uh, to show you how this works and how quickly we can actually do it. So let's go ahead and let's take our web and our template. And, and mind you, this can be set up uh, to happen automatically um, using auto processing. Uh, what I'm doing is just running all of this manually to show you the different steps and how to work. Um, how our customers would use it is they would have a folder on their desktop and they would just drop their invoices in. And all of this happens in the background. Um, let's go ahead, we're gonna grab some invoices. Uh, boom, boom, open them up. Uh, I'm going to quickly look at these and show everyone. These are all, these are DocMe invoices. They're a, a little bit different. I'm gonna take them to a QC module next. Um, this is where we can just do some QC on the in, um, on the document. If it uh, needs to be rotated or something like that, we can do that. I know these are all good. Let's go get the data. So we're going to take them through. Let's go ahead and process them. Um, so what DocMe is doing now, it's automatically indexing the document. It's taking each one of those invoices and pulling the metadata off. So if we look here, now we can see, okay, for each one of these invoices, DocMe's gone in and it's pulled back the invoice date, the vendor name, the invoice number, the invoice status, uh, the invoice amount. What that means is we do not have to manually key this data in. Uh, this happens automatically, and this can happen um, with structured data like this. It can also work the exact same way with unstructured invoices. Um, then when we're done, what we do is we export it. Um, and Again, this would be done automatically. Uh, we're going to take it and we're going to send it right into into DocMe DMS. Uh, let's go in here. Let's go ahead and log in. I'm running this on a VM. Sometimes it kind of lags a little bit. Here we go. Let's see. So. I'm going to send it to the invoices for approval folder, and then we would just map the indexes. Okay, the invoice date, we're gonna pull that into the DocMe DMS invoice date. Vendor name, vendor name, invoice number, invoice number, invoice status, invoice status, invoice amount, invoice amount. Um, and so we send them over. Um, what we also do is we rename these invoices. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say, um, rather than have them document one, document two, document three, we're going to rename each invoice to vendor name underscore the invoice number. So that's how it's going to be stored and named. Then we're going to pick how do we want this to export. We're going to have PDFs. We want them to be OCR'd. Um, we want them compressed in, and then we just send them over. This happens automatically in the background and then the end result is this. I'm going to go into DocMe DMS. Again, I'm going to log in as the admin. And this is DocMe DMS, just um, for those that are not familiar with it. Um, it's accessed through the web. So it can be on site, it can be in the cloud, but the end user, there's no um, software to install. It can be accessed via our, uh, your mobile device using the DocMe phone app, and it can, or it can be accessed on a PC uh, or a laptop via, um, just via a browser. I'm using Internet Explorer, it'll work with any browser. Chrome, uh, Firefox, it'll work with uh, Apple Safari, uh, it'll work with anything. And, um, I'm gonna see a list of cabinets, and I'm gonna go into the AP invoices cabinet because that's where we sent it. Um, let's go ahead and open it up. We sent them all to the invoices for approval folder. So if I look here, these are the documents that we pulled over, and we renamed them 
um, vendor underscore invoice number. So um, I showed the um, the graphical representation of the workflow. So I want to go in now and show you how the workflow actually works. So when an invoice hits this invoices for approval folder, it's kicking off a workflow. And the first step in that workflow is we need to verify the and assign a verify the invoice and assign a cost center. Um, I logged in as the person who is responsible for that first step. They would essentially they would get a email saying, "Hey, there's something that needs your attention." From there, they'd be able to log in, um, and and when they log in and go into that uh, go into the AP invoices cabinet. Uh, this is what the end user sees. And if you look down here at the bottom, this is the workflow inbox. So any uh, anything that needs my attention, any workflow that I am a part of, I'm going to see that noted down here. And here there are five items that need um, that need this person's attention. So they would simply log in and they're going to see the five invoices. Um, it's going to say what they need to do. They need to verify and they need to assign a cost center to them. So let's look at these. Um, I'm going to go ahead and look at this one right here because I know um, that the amount of it is, we can send it through the workflow pretty quick because it's, uh, it's not expensive. We can do it by just approve it by the manager. So um, if I look at it, to the left, it's already been indexed. So all of the, the data that we extracted from Doc Me Capture is moved over here and it's auto-populated. Um, this is the invoice. I'm going to need to approve it. Um, just quickly, we also OCR that invoice. So if I look here, I can see everything on this invoice uh, has been digitized. It makes it completely searchable by not only the metadata fields, but anything on it. Um, this tab shows kind of where it is in the workflow. We can take notes around it, but let's go here and let's go ahead and let's approve this. Okay. So we're going to approve it, um, but it's not going to let us approve it because we did not assign a cost center. So we have to assign the cost center. We're going to make this go to sales. Let's go ahead and approve that. Okay. Now it's been, it's ready to go. It'll pop out of our view and it's going to go to the next step. Let me log out and I'm going to log back in as the sales manager. Um, D Malone. So let's go D M A L O N. And we'll log into him. Now he could be sitting at an airport somewhere. He doesn't necessarily need to be, you know, in the office and he'd get an email on his phone saying, Hey, something needs your attention. Um, he could log in with his phone app and, and go and approve this right from his phone, you know, on the go. So he'll go in as you see, there's a couple down here that need his attention. So let's go in. And let's look at them. The one that we were just looking at was this 808. So let's go ahead and open this up. It says in both of these need manager approval. Um, they're part of the approval matrix for sales. Um, we're going to do this one because it's under $100. This is the only approval that's required for this specific invoice. After this, it's going to go and be ready to be paid and filed. So I can go here. Um, he's going to look at everything. Okay, everything's good. Let's approve it been approved. It's going to pop out of his view. Now it's going to go back to the admin to pay it um, and file the invoice. And we'll quickly log in as the admin. And have an item waiting for us to uh, to take action on. Here we go. Let's open it up. This is the invoice. And, and mind you, we've taken this from capture to final approval in 10 minutes. You know, this is a process that takes weeks sometimes um, at companies. So with DocMe, we can, you know, we can really, um, really shorten this process and uh, and ultimately reduce operational costs. So now this person's job, they need to pay the invoice and. Let's say they just hit approve. What's going to happen? Well, they're, they're going to be prompted like, how did you pay it? Uh, this is something that should be filled in. But if it's not, it's not going to just let them um, approve it. Also, it's going to ask them, OK, when, what's the date paid? Today is the 20th. Let's go ahead and do that. Approve. Um, so now it's been approved. 
and it'll pop out of their view. And so now what's happened is it's gone to, and it's been filed. Let's go find it. Um, we're going to go back to the file explorer uh, and go to our 2018 paid invoices for April. Um, there's a couple in here. I was kind of testing it earlier. This is the one we were just um, playing with. Actually, let's do it this way. I want to see it that way. Let's see it like this. And the invoice, so what we've done is we've taken it, we've captured it, um, we've indexed it, we've stored it, we've taken it through the entire approval process, uh, and now it's stored. So uh, at any time, we can go back and we can find um, this invoice. And now, um, using DocMe, we also have you know visibility into exactly what's going on. Um, I can go to uh you know to run reports on where my invoices are so i can go in and i can find out you know let's find out um you know all of the invoices um that you know are new so let's go ahead and do that search it's going to pull up all of the new invoices that we have so at any time, we can go back and run a search on these specific invoice status. We can um, run a search on, we, what we can do is we can actually run a search on any of these fields and we can combine them together to find out exactly what's going on inside of the system. Let's say um, it's at the end of the month, we have not gotten back um, all of the approvals that we need for our invoices we'd quickly be able to go in and run a report and find out, you know, um, what is outstanding. And more importantly, we can find out exactly who has it. So we can, you know, um, call these people and, and um, have everything taken care of. We have, uh, you know, visibility into everything. So that is what I had to show um, today. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, questions now. Um, Scott and I will be online um, for the next few minutes taking questions. Um, and also, uh, we can also be reached by phone or by email. I'm going to put up our contact information as well while we take questions. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, let's go here. Let me run through this real fast. Okay. All right. So the first question, I see someone asking, um, what is the cost? Well, um, as far as the, the pricing for, for DocMe DMS and DocMe Capture, that's going to depend um, on the specific organization. So uh, DocMe Capture has a standalone version and a network version. Um, meaning the network version, you can have multiple copies and they can work together. Um, a standalone version is more for a, um, for an office, maybe they have one or two, you know, one, one station. Um, and then DocMe DMS, um, the way DocMe DMS is licensed, it depends, it's licensed by concurrency. So the number of users that you'll have on the system at one time, you know, I've, customers that have maybe a hundred people but they may have you know 10 concurrent licenses because there's no more than 10 people on the system at one time um, and then it also depends on there's a few different things on what they actually need because um, our customers only pay for what they need and what they're going to use so if someone doesn't need version control or they don't need like automatic OCR like those types of things um, or maybe they don't need file retention you know then they would not you know, need those specific components we tailor everything to um, we tailor everything to what the customer uh, to what the customer needs uh, and up there, you're going to see uh, my contact information. You're also going to see my colleague's contact information, uh, Scott Zaskowski. Um, and you can call us at that number, and we can talk to you a little bit more about it. All right. Do we have any other questions? 
Um, the difference, okay, um, magic indexing. Magic indexing is our answer to dealing with unstructured data. So there are capture solutions out there that do, that do the zone type recognition, that read the barcodes. Um, but the big challenge is unstructured data. When I'm looking at documents that have the same type of information on them, but it's in different places, like the example I used for the vendor name um, and a set of invoices, with magic indexing we can we can now capture that that information and more importantly the way that we do it it does not require any type of training for the end user because it's done once it's set up it works automatically in the back and because we have a layer of qc on it our customers do not need to do any type of verification or qc of the data it truly is automatic you know essentially what they're doing is uh, taking a set of invoices, imagine having a stack of invoices, 50 invoices from all of your vendors, putting them on your scanner, pushing, you know, scan, scanning them into a folder and going home for the day. The next day you come back and they're inside of DocMe DMS. They're already um, indexed and they're already, you know, in the proper people's inboxes who need to approve those specific invoices. Um, and all that's done automatically. You know, this is something that a lot of um, the way it was done before, um, very, very inefficient, very, very prone to error, um, and, and very, very costly. With DocMe Capture and DocMe DMS, um, we will design a process, you know, based on your internal processes to completely automate it um, and ultimately save a company, you know, um, a significant amount of money, you know, from an operational perspective on, on the way that they used to do things. Uh, and this can also be, um, I'm showing accounts payable, but it can be used for, for other, you know, departments and other areas of the company as well. Um, do we have any other questions? Oh, that's a good question. Um, no, they, uh, so DocMe Capture and DocMe DMS, they can be sold together. Uh, what that means is that, um, you know, we can do it like uh, an automatic AP processing. However, I do have customers who use things like SharePoint or they'll, some of will even use like a Windows file system or they have their own, you know, ECM or something somewhere that they're storing their documents right now. Um, and in that case, they can still use DocMe Capture. So they can take DocMe Capture. We have export scripts to, uh, we can export to, to just about anything. Um, and I didn't show you, but there's um, another, like a drop down menu where we have a, just a series of scripts, depending on if, because I have customers that use different, you know, they don't all use DocMe DMS. So imagine, you know, you could take that set of invoices, you could scan them in. Um, you could pull the metadata off of them, and then in the morning they're into SharePoint or they're into M files, whatever you, whatever the customer is using, or they're into your your Windows file system. Um, you know, we can use DocMe Capture and the auto processing functionality to, you know, to take a set of documents, extract the metadata, and and push those documents where what, whatever our customers are using uh, to store them. Do we have any other questions before we kind of wrap it up? Um, all right. Okay. Um, if there are no more questions, I would like to thank everyone for joining us today. Um, again, our contact information is up on the screen if you'd like some more information. Um, if you'd like to talk about how you could use DocMe Capture to help your company, please give us a call. Um, we would love to hear from you. Um, again, thanks everyone, and everyone have a wonderful weekend. Bye.